But obviously, a really good win for us. Uh, Cleveland State's a very good program. Um, you know, they're going to be very successful this year. And, um, you know, it's just a kind of those back and forth type games. And, um, you know, fortunately, we were pretty strong on the defensive end. Uh, I thought once in the second half, we kind of cleaned up our rebounding as well as took care of the basketball, which eliminated a lot of fast break points. Uh, that was kind of the difference in us getting momentum. Uh, obviously, Tyson Acuff was huge for us. and But there were some other unsung heroes as well. I mean, he was the, the big gun. But I thought uh, Julius Sellerby and, and Yusef Jihad both contributed very well. He's our guy. I mean, we you know, from day one, from, you know, when we knew our roster was kind of going together, we knew he was the main guy. And um, I really think he's an all-conference type player. Uh, first team, I know he was nominated second team. But I think he's one of the better guards in the whole league. And um, you can just see it. He just does it at all three levels. He can shoot, score. Uh, pull-ups at the rim uh, and he's a great communicator with his teammates his teammates really respond to his leadership out there on the court um, and he's and he's not just one of those guys just scoring like he'll facilitate make plays for other guys as well too yeah you know scheduling is an interesting thing because you know I probably could schedule six and oh if I wanted to and play you know little sure, sisters sure. little sisters of the pores and all those type things but for me it's more important to get our team ready for for Mac play and play you know semi-balanced. I think the last couple of years, it really wasn't balanced. We were playing some really hard teams. And actually this year, you know, our first two games, you have uh, Butler and Florida Atlantic, you know, the final four team. I mean, that's that's no joke. So, um, you know, it's great to get off to kind of get this where we're two and two, at least out of the gate. Um, you know, it gets a little bit more favorable, although we got Michigan down the road as well, too. UD won't be easy at their place. Um, but, uh, you know, for us, it's it's being competitive, building confidence, building growth in our basketball team, but also being challenged. So we're trying to find that balance. I don't know if it's always easy, but the most important thing I think for anybody in our league and, you know, leagues in the mid-major is to be prepared for your league and try to give yourself a chance to be at the top of it. Absolutely. Yeah, we 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 felt like coming into this year, we had to become a, a team with an identity of rebounding and defending. And um, we've been kind of up and down on that. When we won our two games, we've been good defensively. We've been good rebounding. When we haven't, we've gotten beat. So... I think our players are starting to see like very clearly what we have to do to give ourselves a chance.